Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 6. Last episode, we made our way into this uh, former fortress of Rentar Irno and killed the cultists in there. And their leader honestly led a very boring and dull and uninteresting fight. And unfortunately, it was a bit of a slog getting through this place, so it went long enough that we haven't even reported in. So, let's do just that. First, to you, Clodaka. The cultists have been destroyed. Clodeca tell nods. The Venati warriors behind you raise their hands in an odd victory salute. It is a strangely subdued celebration, over in seconds. Then I will go. I can regain my old mission, and I thank you. The other warriors will remain to scare off those who take this part. I am grateful, and I hope I can aid your people. Thank you. When will you be going? Very soon, I am happy to say. Good. Now, let's get out of here. This has not been very fun or interesting. That must have been the spell circle that was mentioned once before. Alright, let's get out of here. Step into the portal. And we are back. Yay. Right, round about this way. Uh, Kian Irno, the Venati cults have been defeated. Kian Irno nods. Her mouth twists in what could only be a smile. Yes, yes, our mission is done. Now we... Now we must face a dreaded future with many decisions. Return to your castle. Tell them that the work is done and they have earned the gratitude of the, of the Venati. When we can send work back to all guys, something will be done. She has a warrior fetch you a baton and a glittering crystal. And take these tokens. They express our gratitude greatly. I and the Venati thank you. And I'm looking for the shards. Yes, there was a reason we were drawn to these tunnels out of all available to us. The Venati were here once. Some of their power was here. It called to us. Then we arrived only to find that there were traps too. Of course, we sealed the chamber below, the trap chamber. If you wish to take the risk of removing the traps for us, you are welcome to anything there you find. Then when you are gone, we can use the space. I will have the gate open for you. Alright then, thank you very much. We'll go do just that. All right, light, please. Why does it keep wearing out? Oh, great, those kinds of traps. This chamber is oppressively hot and humid. There's a lot of rubble shaken loose from the ceiling by cave quakes. The Venati haven't spent much time here. They just sealed it up and stayed away. You can soon see why. There is old magic in the eastern half of the cave. Abandoned, dangerous magic. Some sort of trap left for anyone careless enough to blunder into it. There are four crystal pylons about your height arranged in a ring around a magic circle. The circle is empty, but the pylons are still quite active. They glow with a dangerous, fiery light. Well, I guess we need to deal with these. Alright. Let's see if we can deal with them one at a time, eh? Alright. Use your arrows to just shoot. Oh, no, that was a miss. You shoot. Did no damage. Nothing. So we need to step into this. Great. This is going to be wonderful. When you enter the ring of pylons, they pulse with light. Three times in unison. A shade appears in the middle of the circle. With each flash of light, it becomes more substantial. The shade begins to speak. At least the sound comes from the spectral shape. Its mouth doesn't move. You have entered. Defend. You must prove. The circle... You have entered. Doesn't say anything else. Strange, the years of neglect seem to have allowed the spells here to decay. Doesn't make them any less dangerous. One of the pylons is now surrounded by gentle motes of blue light. Another is surrounded by angry, hot sparks of flame. Interesting. Let's, uh, ward of elements is probably the best idea. Huh, that one is weak. Alright, do what you can to destroy it. Alright, Shade is probably able to do something. No, we can't really just do anything to the Shade. Oh, is this one of those old testing chambers? Interesting. Oop. Alright, uh, how about Divine Retribution? Yeah, that did a bit. Alright, so I think we'll be able to kill these one by one. Just find the ones that are surrounded by blue motes of light, and then just bash at them until they go down. 
A wave of flame shoots out of the pylon wreathed in sparks. Then all four pylons flash brightly. Moments later, when the light fades, the blue and red modes of light have moved. Ah, damn it. That did not do enough. And cold is not as any use on these. Will fire actually hurt it? No. Okay, so it needs to be this. And you're terrified. That is not good at all. You are terrified again. God damn it. Right, arcane summon, I guess. We'll do some of that, maybe. Hmm. This is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Cold doesn't work on them. Fire does. But these things are going to be very dangerous. Not really the one you needed to attack. Remove that if you can. You didn't reach. God damn it. And everything moved around. Like, there's that minion. Okay, so it seems like the only one that's actually doing anything... Why is he terrified now? Great. Okay, we need to prepare even better because this is not going to end well at all. At least we kind of know how this fight goes. We don't need energy protection. We don't need uh, elemental protection. We need mind protection. Otherwise it terrifies us and this is just not going to work. I guess hit it as much as it can. Oh, there he goes. And we lost our healer. You know what? I'm just going to reload here. Alright, now we know what's going to happen, so let's prepare a bit more. As many spells as we can. Okay, I guess that'll do. Now, let's do what we can in order to... Maybe we can at least kill one of these. That'll be nice. That's actually immensely helpful. Alright. Fire. I think we can kill one of them. Okay, blue one is weak. The other one is not. Almost got it. Why is it not dying? It should be dying. Do they not actually die? Great. Alright. Divine Restoration. Alright. Interesting. Oh, I get it now. Now I understand. The more damage done, the less damage it does to us. That makes sense. Now I understand. So I'm guessing we need to do this about four times, and we'll be fine. Once to eat at least four times, anyway. Right, do more damage to these, and the more damage... Yeah, yeah, this makes perfect logical sense. Yeah, this is an, this is an interesting trap. Right, I think we're good now. Go kill that minion. There you go. There we go. Next one. No, it still did a lot of damage. Alright, get over there. See if you can do what you can to it. Stay away from that if you can. And there we go. I mean, if we can't actually destroy it, 
I don't know. I'm doing what I can. It, it's it makes sense to me. Slow, but I can counter that with a haste. Ooh ha ha. All right, and it has no health left. Asking that. Right, that's another one de dealt with. Alright, let's keep this out. I don't know how long we need to do this for, but I'll do what I can. Overcame the terror, yay! I mean, this is working. We're staying alive. It sounds like he's basically just trying to defend. The entire goal is to stay defended or something. I don't know. God only knows what we're supposed to do with that guy in the middle. The magical trap, unstable after many years of neglect, has taken too much damage. The pylons begin to crumble. The shade in the center begins to stumble around, no longer controlled by the crystals that surround it. It begins to fall apart, too. That doesn't stop it from continuing to try to kill you. Okay! The pylons still doing anything? Nope, the pylons are dead! Now let's deal with this shade. Good. Now, um... Remove the terror... Why are you still terrored? No, no, you're not. Never mind. There, all the crystals are gone. Now we just need to kill the shade. Which won't take very long. At least the trap is working. Well, I mean, at least the trap is going away. This is never here before. Who put it here? Your blows have finally sufficiently damaged the lump of hostile ectoplasm. It crumbles and dissolves. The traps have finally faded. The barriers to the south, which had been sustained by the energy of the pylons, fade away. Yay! Now kill this thing that it summoned, and we'll get out of here. There we go. Alright, did it drop anything? Ghostly Blade! Interesting, but I think we'll sell it. And there's a couple crystals around here. And there we go. All right. Ooh, some fine wave blade, more razor disc, disruption wand, and speed burst roll. And here is where the thing must be. There's a crystal pylon in the middle of this chamber. Many lines of strange flowing runes have been etched into its surface, forming rings that go from the base to the tip. It is clearly Venati workmanship. It's also ruined. Something has broken it, either a surge of power or a blow from outside. Dozens of cracks spiderweb its surface, and many small fragments have broken loose. This is probably the pylon Lark sent you to find. You collect a handful of crystal shards from the base of the pylon. Doesn't seem like much of a reward for all the trouble you went through to get here. Yeah, I guess. But there's various crystals down here, so there's that at least. Including a wisdom crystal. I suppose we should uh, inform the people above of what we did. The Venati, I mean. Uh, he, we don't need to tell him. Alright, there is still one quest here that we need to deal with, however. So, oop, too far. So, let's see if we can actually kill that horribly dangerous thing that was down there. Not the way we need to go. Round about this way. Also, we can probably regain our energy by walking into the, uh, Fort Monastery, which we kind of need to. Actually, no. Why bother with that when we can regain our energy from that camp that's down here? <sighs> Why do these guys keep re-showing up? Come on, you need to die. We've already killed your superiors! 
We've killed everyone who was here. Now you die. There. Now you're dead. All right. Now, as I said, let's get under here. We can get our health from these guys, I think. Provided they're still here, of course. Yep, they're still here. Some of them are still here. Where have the other soldiers gone? Back to Avernum. Hopefully by now they're reporting what they have learned, and getting a decent meal. As for us, we're staying here to do a bit more spying and cause a bit more trouble. And since the Horde is a mess right now, our work's a lot easier. Alright, thank you for the healing. Now that I think about it, I should probably actually open up that gate just to make travel easier. Alright, so we know the thing's in there, and we know it is incredibly dangerous. So let's cast what spells we can. No, actually. Alright, and the rest of these... There we go. I think we can charge in to deal with it. It's alone. We'll be able to summon some minions to help out in a bit, too. Got a lot of health, but we can deal with it, I think. A hideous glob of slime climbs out of one of the pools. Chain summon. Right. Oh, and we're fatigued. I forgot that's what it did. Okay, then. On the plus side, we are causing damage to it. Overcame the terror, except for two of our guys. One of whom was our healer, because of course he was. Wonderful. Day spell. Wonderful. Okay. Acid is not going to do anything. My next spray does decent. You need to heal yourself. Well, thank you. Yes, the minions are definitely going to help. You heal yourself. Again. Please stop with that. Pores are opening on the beast's side. Something awful is about to spray out. That doesn't sound good. Oh, he's charmed. Great. I mean, we can kill the thing. But God damn it, if this isn't annoying. Whoa. And he's dead! Wonderful. Hey, let's try and keep our people alive. Not terrified out of their wits. Well, you're not terrified anymore. Slowed and cursed. But they're trapped, so there's that. There's one of our minions. There's not much we can do. No, how about a... If only I had used it. And another slime car. Yeah, more terror. Fortunately, it's only the mage who's terrified, and we can remove that terror. Slowly killing this thing. Okay. Definitely gonna be able to kill it. Writhing mass is charmed because of this. Almost got it. No! He got charmed? I didn't even realize. Fine, remove the charm. There we go. Lord of the Fungus is dead. Bloody hell. And we got back our dead guy. And we got a knowledge elixir. Nice. And a fungal bow. Plus 10 to mind effect resistance and plus 1 to quick strike. And it does a lot of damage. I think you're going to keep Elevari's bow. You can get the fungal bow. Because Elevari's bow is incredibly powerful. Oop, wrong person. 
Let's do the longbow. And that can be sold. Is there anything else back here we can use? Oh, hold on. There. Anything else? Oh, wait, another potion. Carrying elixir. Meh. Alright, we managed to accomplish our goal. Let's go report in. I'll cut it while I run back. <laughs>